It's your favorite Latina, Kateri. I'm here with Young M.A. Yo, yo, what's up, man? <laughs> they say we be wildin', wildin'. Louis V down in style. What's up? Thank you for coming to Boston. Thank you for having me. Um, I was very excited when I heard you were coming because one of my mentors is Amadeus. Live in Vegas, Amadeus, Trey Sharks experience. Oh, and man. I had hit Amadeus up. I was like, yo, MA, young MA is coming. Like, That's the homie, I, man. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to Amadeus, so, man. <laughs> so he was like, yo, tell I said what's up. You know, talk about Petty Watt, card confessions, practice. Mm -hmm. And I was like, <laughs> yeah, oh, you know, he's going to talk about his records. Yeah, you know, already. Uh -huh. <laughs> so how was it working with Amadeus? Because he's all about, you know, giving back and really mentoring and all about like pushing artists to be the best it's I crazy it because him? i'm i'm i met amadeus years ago i met him actually in webster hall in new york city this was years ago and um i think from then he exchanged numbers with my manager and i wound up you know linking up with him on social media instagram following him and stuff so I always you know seeing you know seeing his stuff and he probably seen my stuff and i think one day we uh I think he DM'd me or something like that and was like, yo, you know, let's work. You know what I mean? Let's get to it. And, you know, uh, we exchanged, you know, information numbers and stuff like that. And he sent me some beats and we went from there. But I always knew, you know, he was a, he was a, you know, producer from, you know, what people told me like, I'm a this, you know, he did a lot of stuff back in like, you know, the early 2000s and stuff like for a lot yeah. of big, you know, big artists. He keeps and, relevant. Yeah, he's definitely relevant. <laughs> he keeps you know what relevant. I mean? So I already knew, you know, I was gonna already be like, all right, now nah, I'm a rock because you know he got he got he got his name. So um and then that happened and from there, you know, uh we we went. We was went. it quick producing all of the three songs or did you guys take a while? No, he uh, the he had it already already. I'm ready. He, he had just already? sent me a batch, yeah. Like that's usually how I get my beats. I never really like sit down and have somebody make a beat for me. Mm -hmm. Like I've always um, you know, like my producer or, or Amadeus, for example, or anybody else uh, send me something and I'll just go through there and be like, yo, I'm going to rock with this one or I'm going to rock with that one. Mm -hmm. And Amadeus had a lot of fire. He had yeah. a lot of fire. As you can see, I use a lot of his joints. Yeah. <laughs> and I guess eventually as he started to know me, mm -hmm. he knew exactly what I liked. So he'll send me, you know, a few I things. I like that. He connected yeah. with you. He's like, right, he, I'm going to He learned go me. He studied style, me a little bit. Like yeah. And, he, and, he knew, and I think he also noticed that I don't like always the same sound. Yeah. So he'll give me, you know, versatile type beats, you know, versatility, a lot of stuff that wasn't just the same. All this stuff was different. Yeah. And I like that about a producer. I don't like a producer where you hear his beats and all his beats sound the same. Yeah. Every or he one. thinks like, hey, this has to be used. Yeah. Yeah. Be you know what I mean? Like every beat he sent me was always different from from this sound to that sound to this sound. So I appreciate my day. Shout out to him. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Ah, Amadeus, you're the best. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know. I told him, I'm like, yo, during this interview, I'm just going to FaceTime you. He's like, you're crazy. Just finish the interview. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He know. He, he knows his presence is here. Yeah. yeah. So I want to talk about a little uh, Queen Foundation. And I want to talk about how I could get involved in other people that I know that have been through the same situation oh. or they relate how language, they could be yeah. involved. So that, that touched home for me. And I was like, this foundations like that have to be created more especially absolutely um just for the community you know right. sometimes family is not there or family right. doesn't know how to handle the situation so creating a foundation like that i was like all right how could i be involved yeah, shout, out, shout out to my mommy man because yes she's definitely the, the heart of the foundation and um um i was just i was just excited the fact that she even wanted to you know do something like this as well um definitely because she's been through a lot and i know she wanted to touch other moms as well Definitely using my platform and mm -hmm. and so uh yeah man like whatever we let's go you yeah. know what I mean like that's what and it just started so you know I really she's still trying to get involved with people and, and yeah. understand the the whole foundation thing and what she got to do to like you know start certain things so that's where we are we still in the beginning stages dope well I'm yeah. definitely gonna like keep looking and seeing what you guys we are actually, doing if um, any events are going on because yeah we actually um that's crazy you mentioned it but, um. <laughs> It's, it's Sunday, right? We actually doing the uh, back to school uh, thing where uh, my aunt actually is involved with it too because she has her own foundation. So we collabing with her and we are doing a back to school thing in Brooklyn. Um, so hey. I'll definitely be attending that. Yeah, uh, as you, I don't know, a lot of people knew we did the Mother's Day thing uh, foundation. That's where I actually launched that. For yeah, Mother's you Day. I seen the video. Yeah, yeah, that was the beginning. Then now you know she wanted to do something for Father's Day, but in the time period was was too 
too close in time, so she wasn't able to do it. So now we um, decided to do the back to school thing. So you'll be seeing that on on the internet and stuff like that. Nice. Cause so can people donate uh, money? Mat- like yeah, yeah. That's what like, we're trying to. We got to. We got to. I'm gonna donate? get your information. I'm gonna get your information so I can let her know. Cause she she be wanting. Yeah, let me you know talk I mean? to mama. Yeah, yeah. You let gotta talk, talk to you. mommy, man. She she want she be wanting to reach out to people and, and she don't know nothing. Like this is this is her first time doing something like this. It's more so just from the kindness of her heart. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like she's putting. So she's learning as we go. And me too as well. Like, I don't know. You know what I mean? Too much about it. But of course, I wanted to get involved because it's my way of giving back. Yes. And, and you know, people going through the same situation I've been through and other situations too. Not even just what I've been through. Just, you know, any type of family trauma or anything mm-hmm. that's just like, you know, something that where people can't, you know, feel like they're alone and stuff. We want to get back. um, Get back in some type of way. So, um, yeah, no, nah, I definitely. Some, hmm? Is this so sorry? What is this say? something that you were planning with your mom for a while? Like you were thinking, like for when you were back in yeah, two thousand and twelve. Yeah, yeah. She like, been. She always wanted to. Even before it was like young and May, yeah. she always wanted to do something where she wanted to help out, help out with other people that's been in her situation. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just you know, even was if it wasn't something big, she just always wanted to do something to give back. So of course, you know, me being young and May having this platform now is is even better to do because now we have such a big audience yeah. and people that's watching now. And can you know understand the situation? So it was just perfect to do now. You know what I mean? Like this is an opportunity now. Do you and mommy plan on uh, creating another foundation to something that you guys uh, want to give back to as well, or is Queen Queen baby for that's now? Everything. Yeah, that's everything. Yeah, that's everything. It's not just yeah. It's not just like going through a traumatic situation in life or. No, nah, it's, it's for anything. You know what I mean? Like Queens Foundation, Queens, of course, Queens itself. I like how it's spelled too. With a K. I was yeah, about to K- say K W E E N S. Uh, Kings is for Kings and Queens. Like that's what I consider myself a King and a Queen. I don't consider myself just a Queen. I don't consider myself just King. I consider myself both. You know what both. I mean? That's just Game me. Game of Thrones, all right? And right, you know what I mean? <laughs> and so that's why we spelled it with a K, so you can understand that the K is for King, and then you pronounce it Queens. And um, the foundation is for for Kings, our Kings and our Queens out here. That's you know what I mean? We giving back in, in any type of ways for anybody, and we consider everybody a king and a queen. So that's dope. Yeah, dope, dope. Well, shout out! I'm gonna definitely get that information, and anybody yeah, yeah, we that, do that wants to give back and be a part of this movement. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta get young that big. We gotta make that just as big as Young and May, man. <laughs> gotta make that just as big. So Young and May, you're young and you're successful, and you mm-hmm. started very early. How did you get to that point? Was there a lot of focus into this? Because I know when you're young, well, at least when I'm young, I wanted to like go out and do all this stuff. And mm-hmm. I wasn't so focused on what I really wanted to until, you know, things happened in my life. Right, and right. My nah, mind. that's crazy you say that because <laughs> um, as a kid, I always knew I was going to be a rapper. Like, you mm. know, some people be like, they have that dream for a long time and then they end up doing something different. Yeah. Like, in my heart, I knew I was going to be a, a, a big artist one day. Like, I never denied it. I never wanted to do nothing else. Nothing else. I didn't even think about doing nothing else because I said, Your this is like, what hey, I'm going to be. Your friend's like, hey, what do you want to be? Like, I'm already a rapper. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, that's <laughs> exactly. Straight like yeah. that. It was like, yo, I want to be a rapper. Like, you know, no, you know, not to say, you know, kids, if you want to be, you don't have to be a rapper. You could be a doctor. You could be a lawyer. You could be whatever you wanted to be. But that's just something I chose that I wanted to do. And I didn't, I felt like it wasn't nothing bad. And, and my mom supported me. So, you know, as long as I have, you know, when you got your family support, man, it's like, yeah, let's go. You it know seems what I mean? like, like your mom is your biggest support. Yeah, she absolutely. Like supports absolutely. everything. Absolutely. And I think that's what helped me a lot into wanting to be, you know, who I am. Because sometimes, you know, your parents have different, you know, dreams for you. And then you end up doing that. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's not sometimes out of the case. But I, I didn't have that type of, my, my mom was, was, she was just supportive. Anything I wanted to do, hey, you know what I mean? I long, love that. long as you ain't out here, you know, wow, and then. <laughs> And doing something you ain't supposed to be doing, that's different. But if you want to be a rapper and you really believe in that, then I believe in it too. You know what I mean? So That's that's the beauty because I know a lot of people, especially artists, are like, I want to be an artist, but my mom's saying there's no yeah, money. Yeah, or yeah, you know, my dad's some, saying that I'm going to be a loser or yeah, this yeah, or that. Yeah, you know what I mean? And, and Nah, you know. It's different, yeah. It's, it's it's positive to me. I I feel like you know music, of course, is positive. It's, 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 how you, it's how you deal with it. I feel like anything in life can make you... Do something negative. You know what I mean? It's not mm-hmm. just, you know, a rapper, being a rapper to me is not being negative. It's how you, you know, it's how you go throughout the, the, yeah, the situation. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, but my mom was definitely supportive, man. And since a kid, I knew this was something I was going to do. Period. Nothing you more, it. nothing less. I love that. You put it to the universe. You're like, Absolutely. that's what I'm going to do. I definitely did. I could say that. I had dreams about this, man. Dreams? 
Do yeah. you have a dream of like sitting right out here? <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep, radio station. Right all that. <laughs> yep. Yo, 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 man, I love your energy. I really appreciate you coming to Boston, rocking Thank with your you. favorite Latina, Kateria. Get on the black mic! You with yourself every day. You know what I mean? So you just look at yourself as yourself. You know, you're not realizing how much people that's watching you literally at this moment, like right now, probably on my Instagram, like, damn, you know, she inspires me so much. Or watching a video or listening to a song at this very moment and thinking how much you inspired them because you're with yourself every day and you just know, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. But it's people out there that's literally thinking about you right now and how much you're affecting them. And they probably was going through something at the moment and put on your song and felt better. You know what I mean? So you gotta, it's like, it's like, it's like reaching out to, to your blind side. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like s stuff you don't see every day. 